Hello, and thank you for choosing to watch this video. Roy Cross is a name that may not be familiar to that many people, but to anyone who's heard of Airfix kits has seen his work. Roy Cross is the artist who designed and painted box artwork for many of the Airfix kits. I grew up in the 1970s and bought and made a lot of plastic model kits. It was rare to have any information about a particular kit before buying it. You could see the box, but it was taped shut and it was frowned upon to open the box in the store. The manufacturer's name could usually be relied upon to deliver a certain type of kit. Accuracy and detail, or gimmicky features and moving parts, but it was the artwork above all on the box that was the main factor to decide whether you were going to buy the kit or not. And for me it was the Airfix kits that really seemed to capture the unique quality of the subject and showed an exciting moment. You understood the situation and the role of the aircraft, car or ship or rocket in question. Roy Cross was the artist behind so many of these terrific paintings. Here are a handful of the images that for me defined what a model kit box should look like. The B-17 Flying Fortress. This image, more than any other, sums up Airfix kits for me. The action, danger and bravery within this single image is incredible. The plane is all guns blazing, despite having one engine out of action and on fire. The kit was packed with poseable features, gun turrets, flaps, guns, retractable undercarriage, all movable parts. This painting really puts you there. The Avro Lancaster, this image of the Lancaster returning from its mission on three engines is, is just iconic. Beautiful. The SRN-4 hovercraft. This was such an unusual thing to see alongside Spitfires and Hurricanes and tanks. Just a great image as well. And this painting totally captures the flavour of this massive, unique vehicle. B-29 Superfortress. Another eye-catching, hyper-realistic painting of the almost futuristic B-29 Superfortress. Almost looks like something out of Flash Gordon. B-26 Marauder. This is one of my all-time favourites. The almost uh, photographic reality of this painting just never ceases to amaze me. The SRM-1 Hovercraft. This historic and uniquely British invention captured here by the equally British <laughs> brushwork of Roy Cross and realises an Airfix kit. Great kit, great artwork, great machine, fantastic stuff. The Lockheed Hercules, even when the plane is on the ground and it's not in the middle of a dogfight or shooting its guns or anything, even on the ground, this is an exciting image of the, the aircraft being prepared for its mission. The Saturn V, this is another you know, really memorable image, the massive Saturn V blasting off an Apollo mission to the moon. Stupendous stuff. What I really love about this is that it could have easily been a, an image of the ship flying away to the moon or into outer space, but it's coming right at us. So, so we are there and we're involved in the action. Just really inspirational, just great, great stuff. Epix did a range of super kits in the early 70s that were beautiful 24th scale models of basically World War II fighter planes is where it started out. What could be more British than a Supermarine Spitfire? An absolutely magnificent Roy Cross painting. This is just, it doesn't get better than this. And this is a painting uh, I did a year ago of the man himself. This is a painting I did, just an imaginary look at him at work. Um, he's got the uh, the famous Lancaster box artwork sort of as a sketch going on his desk. He's got the reference model of the, of the Lancaster to look at. Lots of artistic license here. I don't know what his office looked like, but but I really like this painting. And I did a, uh, just a, I did a version. I put it on one of the uh, what if box tops, which just seemed really appropriate. And I, I'm really happy with, with how that came out. There are books celebrating you know, lots of Roy Cross's work, um, not only the Airfix kits, but also a lot of his illustrations and a lot of the naval paintings and other subjects he's done over the years. Roy Cross celebrates his 100th birthday this year, April 23rd, 2024. This is to celebrate him and his work. And as uh, if you watch, if you're watching Roy, thank you for the ongoing enjoyment that your artwork gives and the inspiration that it that it gives. Really fantastic stuff. So thank you, and thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye bye.